Okay, this is 500 yards. We're doing some elk practice here. 500 yards to the plate. All right, this is uh, this is the first time I've shot this rifle other than sighting it in with this scope and stock combination. So let me pull up my ballistics drop here. Okay, so we're at 500 yards exactly. So I need to come up, let's see, 500, 11 and a half MOA. Okay, 11 and a half. Can I have that bag? Oh yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. Dead center. There's a little left. A little left. Same Good. spot. Five for five? That's five for five. Nice. Good job, man. All right, so 500 yards. That was uh, the first time I've shot that other than sighting it in with that scope. So it tracked perfectly. So what do you want to do? Go at 1,000? Let's go. <laughs> Bang. All right, guys, we're going to be shooting at 1,000 yards today. Let me zoom into the plate so we can see it. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's uh, a little shadowed on the mountain there. There it is, right there, kind of in the center, a little bit off to the right of the, of the uh, screen there. So we're going to be taking 1,000 yards with, 1,000 yard shot with the uh, 308 here, my elk rifle, so. And my hand loads. Yeah. I saw a puff, but I wasn't quite sure. Let's go three for three. Let's go five for five, actually. That's a good one. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's three for three. That's a good pull. Was that a hit? Uh, I think so. I didn't see that when I lost my my track. Ooh, I might have pulled that one high. 
Yep, I did. Dang it! <laughs> that was almost five for five. Let me zoom out. We'll do an extra here. All right, guys, that was a th some thousand-yard shooting with my uh, hunting rifle. That's the uh, that's the uh, 308. Let me uh, pull off the tripod here, and I'll show you what we are shooting. Okay, so we shot the SPR at a thousand yards. You guys have seen this gun. Um, we just shot my hand loaded at a thousand. We had a few hits for sure. And then here's the new configuration for the 308. This used to have the uh, multicam stock on it. Uh, but that stock was losing its free float, and so we decided to go with this uh, uh, Bell and Carlson light tactical. It also has some new bottom metal on it as well. I can't even remember the new the name of the bottom metal. I'll have to annotate it, but uh, it does have an accurate, accurate accuracy international mag inside of it, so it's now drop away mag. I'm going to be painting this rifle right now. It has an OD green barrel. We're going to keep the barrel in action, painted OD green, but we're going to uh, do something funky with the with the stock. We're not sh quite sure what we're going to do yet. But on top for the optics, we have the Vortex Viper PST, the four to sixteen power scope, awesome scope, and then just shooting my my uh, hand loads at that that range. So and we connected four out of five shots. So that was pretty good. I kind of felt that felt me pull that that fifth shot. So I knew it wasn't going to be good anyway. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's uh that's my truck out there. And then beyond that is where we were shooting out to a thousand up at the plate up there. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a distance. A thousand yards is a long way to be shooting anything. So, anything to add? Good times. All right, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Don't forget to uh, don't forget to uh, go ahead and hit the like button if you guys like what you see, and also subscribe to the channel for more shooting vids just like this in the future. So, anyway, guys, thanks very very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Moo, Moo. dude, those cows don't aren't even bothered by the, the noise, you know? Dang. You're at zero. Okay, uh, check and see if that says Oh, now it's on blinking that. on top. I thought you meant blinking right in here, sorry. Nope, you're okay. How's it going, guys? Coming at you with a review of the Aguila Super Maximum Hyper Velocity 30 grain hollow point 22 long rifle. To date, guys, this has probably been the most requested 22 long rifle for me to review. Um, and there's a reason for that. The reason why is because this um, is kind of a special ammunition. Aguila, who um, manufactures their ammunition in Mexico, claims that this is the most powerful 22 long rifle ever manufactured. We're going to go ahead and put that to the test and see if that's actually the case. But this review is also going to consist of an accuracy portion. We're going to show you some of the accuracy out of this round. We're also going to shoot this round into the clear ballistics gel.